today we will see anatomy of the tongue first we will see the what are the part of the tongue tongue it tongue has the first one is a root then body then tip then we will see what are the important papilla in the tongue the tip of the tongue there is a fungiform papilla then is the filiform papillae then is the foliated papillae then circumflate papillae right in the sulcus terminalis then the foramen cecum right in the both side the palatine tonsil then the lymphoid polycule these are the main important appearance then we will see what are the muscles of the tongue here there are two part the intrinsic muscles then extrinsic muscles under the intrinsic muscles there are superior longitudinal muscles inferior longitudinal muscles transverse then vertical these muscles main action is the maintain the shape of the tongue then we will see extrinsic muscles genioglossus hyoglossus styloglossus palatoglossus these accents are for genioglossus the protrude the trunk then hyoglossus depress the trunk then styloglossus retract the trunk then the palatoglossus elevate the trunk right here you can see muscles arrangement right this is superior longitudinal muscles this is a vertical muscles this one is the transverse muscles this is the inferior longitudinal muscles then we will see extrinsic muscles they are genioglossus muscles then hyoglossus muscles then styloglossus muscles right these are the muscles then we will we will see what are the artery supply the lingual artery then the tonsil artery then the ascending parenteal branch of the external carotid artery then the venous drainage is mainly lingual vein when we will see the lymphoid drainage the lympha mainly drain into the submental lymph nodes then the deep cervical lymph node then we will see nerve supply May, there is the motor nerve supply extrinsic and intrinsic muscles are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve that is the 12 cranial nerve there is the exception the palatal palatoglossus muscles is supplied by the vagus nerve through the pharyngeal branch these are the motor supply then general sensory nerve supply the lingual nerve that is the branch of the uh, trigeminal nerve mandibular division supply the anterior two third of the tongue then plus of pharyngeal nerve supply the posterior one third of the tongue then special sensory nerve supply that means test the facial nerve through the coda tympani supply the anterior two third of the tongue then the plus of pharyngeal nerve supply the posterior one third of the tongue these are the nerve supply then we will see clinical importance of tongue the fungus infection causes the black coloration of the tongue right here you can see then the glossotrophy that means the wound of the tongue right then the under the jaundice the yellow coloration of the tongue right then the glossophilia that means paralysis of the tongue right here you can see then we will see anemia or malnutrition condition smooth tongue right then the dehydration tongue is the dryness of the tongue right then final one is the glossitis that means the inflammation of the tongue these are the clinical anatomy of the tongue.